I'm Tim Nolan, the media, advertising, and ad tech analyst at Macquarie. We're here at the Montgomery Summit with a whole lot of private companies doing some really interesting stuff in ad tech and marketing tech. And I'm with one of them right now, Chuck Davis of Protege, which is a rewards platform for consumers. Chuck, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Tim. Could you give us a little overview on what your company does and how you acquire customers to your platform? Sure. First, a little about Protege. We run a rewards platform across many consumer sites. Our main brands are Swagbucks and MyPoints, and consumers earn points or dollars, and they accumulate them to get free gift cards. So we'll give out $100 million in rewards this year. Uh, for acquiring customers, one of the good things is people like earning money. And, and we don't have to replace many customers each year. But one of the most effective ways we get people to join our platform is we have a member get member um, uh, situation where if I attract you and you sign up, I get 10% of your points for life. We do spend some marketing and we'll buy keywords and go on Facebook and but but it's a it's a smallish number uh, because we have such a sticky community that comes back to our many websites. Now what channels are you on? Are you primarily mobile? I assume you must be online as well. How does that work? We certainly are available on mobile. Swagbucks has its own app there. Our platform really focuses on two main types of businesses. One, we call data and insights, and that research platform will do maybe 60 million surveys this year. The other part of our business is marketing solutions, which is shopping and uh, lead gen in an offers business, and, and through that transactional business, when you sign up or buy something, uh, I earn a commission and I'll give half of that back to the consumer. I'd imagine because you're about getting consumers, you know, fairly small rewards, points, you know, one, two, three, five dollar increments, whatever it is, people are doing surveys, they're getting paid for it. it sounds like a counter cyclical type of business to me. You might be set up well for the next recession whenever that comes, am I right? But if there is uh, a rougher economy, the consumer wants to stretch the family budget a little further and might come on to swag bucks and earn more points um, doing surveys, shopping online where they're instant coupons and they know they're going to get 10 or 15 percent off and then get the rebate. So I think we're in good shape for counter cyclicality uh, at swag bucks, my points, inbox dollars and the like. Is it privacy safe? Is it, is it a good business to be in, given all the privacy regulations? I imagine, given the direct responses you get, you're in a pretty good spot. We also have an advantage that's maybe one step better than a typical business that, that operates online, and that is that the consumer is giving us data or information in return for being paid with rewards for whatever transaction they are doing. So. That's the kind of experience I think uh, the government was thinking of, that don't take my data and make money off it, you know, unless you're going to reward me in whatever you're gaining in also. That's our whole business. We'll give out $100 million in rewards this year for these types of transactions. Thanks so much for your time, Chuck. Interesting stuff. Look forward to next year. Thank you, Tim.